Hi everybody, Miss Rachel at Farmingdale no Public Library here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own preserved crystal flower. For this activity, you will need some borax, you'll need some hot water like I have here in this Mickey cup, you'll need a measuring cup and measuring spoons, you'll need a heat safe cup or mason jar, here I have one labeled because this will be clear, you'll need something to stir your solution with, a pipe cleaner, or a bread tie, and a popsicle stick or a pencil. And of course, you will need some flowers. Today I'm gonna to use these pretty white flowers. Now for this activity, please be careful. We will be working with boiling hot water like I have here in this travel mug. Um, you might wanna have a grown-up's assistance for this and be sure to wear pot holders or oven mitts. Okay, so shall we get started? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our flower and measure how high it needs to be in order to be suspended in the cup, but not touching the bottom. I'm going to have mine sitting at about this high, and with my pipe cleaner, I'm going to twist this around so that I have something holding my flower in place. You could also use a bread tie for this. Now we're gonna put our popsicle stick or pencil across the top of the cup to hold everything in place. So I'm gonna just twist this pipe cleaner onto my popsicle stick so that it holds. Okay, so now, with a little twist, my flower will stand inside the cup, but not touch the bottom or the sides of the cup. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side, and now, let's start measuring. You could also see a copy of this recipe in the description of this video. We're going to measure one cup of boiling water into our heat safe cup. So, I'm gonna just pour this out of my travel mug into my heat safe cup carefully okay and now we are going to measure three tablespoons of borax into the hot water and mix it up now be careful with borax because it is a laundry detergent um, this is not meant for eating so please do not put this in your mouth that's why i've labeled the side of my cup we're going to take our spoon or a fork and we're gonna mix this up until it's completely dissolved. Now, if you'd like, you could also add some food coloring to this mixture, and then your crystals will end up being a different color. But when this is completely dissolved and there's no more grit left, you've got a completely suspended solution. We're going to suspend our flour inside the cup. Now try not to let the sides of the flower touch the sides of the cup. We want to have this floating in here in a way that the crystals will start to grow but not get stuck on the side of the cup. Okay, well then we're going to leave this overnight or until you're satisfied with the size of your crystals. And I hope that you enjoyed this activity. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in some of our other programs. And I hope you like your preserved flowers. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.